I want to take a moment here and just highlight how amazing it is and how far we've come with technology to get footage like you just saw out of something this big. That's right, today we are going to do a review on the DJI Mavic Mini or Mini 2 in this case and see what this guy is all about. Now we're not gonna spend a ton of time with the unboxing because it's typically the same thing year after year. You get the controller, you get the drone. Uh, with the Fly More, you get two additional batteries, some spare thumbsticks, some spare propellers. Uh, you get a USB charging hub. They did, or they did update it to a USB Type-C charging, which is awesome. And then of course you get a, a blade storage or a blade guard, but not necessarily for flying, but for actual storage. So the, these propellers here don't just flop around all willy nilly like. So something that's super nice to have. So let's go ahead and just dig into this thing and see what this thing is really all about. Looking a bit closer at the drone, the size and weight is identical to the original Mavic Mini. It's still a sub 250 gram drone. It still has the exact same SD card placement, the same battery door that you saw in the original Mavic Mini. The USB has been upgraded to a USB type C up from a micro USB. The few things that they did change is on the front, they did add a LED, although I will say it isn't very bright, but it's definitely nice to see that they've put something there that can help aid in the orientation of the drone. Now, the motors on this thing were also upgraded, so they're a little bit more power efficient, and they are also upgraded as far as performance, which is what helps achieve the max speed of like 36 miles per hour, and this thing definitely scoots, especially for its size. The camera has been upgraded from 2.7K to 4K along with its bitrate to 100 megabits per second up from 40, giving us a clear image from less compression. Photos are still captured with a 12 megapixel camera, but with the addition of being able to shoot in raw format. This is great for those of you that like to use these drones and capture some really cool uh, aerial photography. This should give you a little bit more control in post-processing. Now, this is currently limited to photo mode. I don't foresee them adding a firmware update to give us uh, raw shooting formats with like decent like and video mode, but who knows, maybe we'll see that in a future uh, firmware update. Now, in 4K and 2K modes, we can shoot up to 30 frames per second with going up to 60 frames per second while in 1080p. All modes feature a digital zoom, 2.7 and 4K modes can go up to a two times digital zoom while 1080p can go up to four times, but you can certainly see the quality start to degrade the further you go. We now have OcuSync 2.0 instead of just the enhanced Wi-Fi that we saw with the original Mavic Mini. This is a technology that you typically see in DJI's more expensive drones, but essentially it gives you a much further range, but more importantly, the connection to the drone is far more stable than just enhanced Wi-Fi. I was able to fly this thing two miles from me, still having three bars of connection strength and only needing to return just because of battery power. You can bet that the OcuSync gives you more peace of mind to have a stable connection to the drone. Now the controller that comes with the drone is fantastic. I have the Mavic Air 2. It's the same drone or the same controller that comes with that and it's just an awesome design the way they did it with the phone sitting on top and just on how, how well built it feels in the hand. The inputs on that thing are dead accurate. The drone just goes wherever you want it to go, despite how light the Mini 2 is. Now, a quick bonus feature, like I said, if you have the Mavic Air 2, you can use the same controller for both drones. You don't have to bring two controllers for two different drones, which is a huge, huge plus in my book. And I would bet that some of DJI's newer drones or their new product lineup are probably going to use the same controller, just making ease of use that much better. Now let's talk a little bit about flight time. The battery that comes with the Mini 2 is a 5200 milliamp LiPo 2 cell battery that's expected to get a maximum of 31 minutes per flight. Now, of course, this is at basically sea level, no wind, and flying around in like 10 miles per hour or less. However, after a few charges and cruising around in cinema mode doing shots, I was able to achieve about 25 minutes of flight, which isn't too bad. I did notice a significant drop. As soon as I swapped it into sport mode, it was cruising around. I did see about 15, maybe to 19 minutes worth of flight time, which is something that I would expect while cruising uh, at those speeds. This is where shot planning is gonna save you a ton of battery life because if you can get there and before you even launch the drone into the air, just look around and start making some mental notes of the shots that you wanna do 
Sometimes I'll even throw in a battery, launch the drone, and actually get a more of a survey of the area and start making some more mental notes of those shots. That way I can maximize the amount of flight time to shots that I'm getting with some of the other batteries. So the question is, should you go out and buy this drone? And honestly, the answer depends on you. If you already have something that shoots 4K video, it's doing what you need it to do, it's shooting the quality of video that you want it to shoot, then probably not. Grabbing one of these is probably going to be a waste of money. But if you are a beginner and you're looking at getting into drones, DJI has created a perfect place to start. This thing has a solid connection. It's super compact and lightweight, easy to transport. It's under 250 grams. You don't have to worry about registering it with the FAA. And it's got an awesome camera for the size of this type of drone. So DJI once again has nailed this drone and has taken the guesswork out as a perfect place to start. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this review. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.